Using Geometry Sketchpad, we're going to create a kaleidoscope. To do so, let's start by making two line segments that share one endpoint. To measure the angle, select a free endpoint, the shared endpoint, and then the remaining. We want to measure angle. Selecting one of the endpoints, make your angle about 60 degrees. With our point tool, we're going to make five random points inside our angle. And then we're going to select all five points. Construct pentagon interior. If your pentagon overlaps itself, such as this, Simply drag your points until you have a clear pentagon with exactly five sides. Now we're going to double click the bottom segment. We're going to select our pentagon interior and go to transform, reflect. We want to change the color of our new pentagon to anything other than what it already is. From there, we're going to double click top segment. We already have our new pentagon highlighted. So go to transform, reflect, and let's change this color again to one that we don't already have. I'll do green. Let's deselect everything. Select our original interior, our lower segment our upper segment, our first reflection, and our second reflection. Going over to our toolbar, you see a triangle with three dots. This is your custom tools menu. If you click and hold it, you'll see create a new tool. Select that. We're going to name our tool double reflection. Okay, unselect everything, go over to your custom tool and hold it. You'll see that your double reflection is already checked. So now when you want to use the tool, all you have to do is click the custom tools menu so it looks indented as it already does. So we're going to select our very last interior that has been created. In this case, it's my green one. Now we're going to select the bottom segment and the upper segment. Let's do this again. So our last interior created was this green one. Select the bottom segment and our upper segment. As you can see, the last interior we made overlaps with our original. Let's get rid of our original. So let's get into our select tool deselect everything and select one point go to edit select children now you have your whole interior selected go to display and hide pentagon now the yellow pentagon or the original pentagon interior is gone but we still have the points now let's double click the shared endpoint we're going to use this to dilate interiors, meaning they're either going to go closer to the center or farther away. In our case, we want them to go closer. We're going to select three interiors that share the same color. I'll select my red ones first. We're going to go up to transform and dilate. We want our scale to be negative one to two. As you can see, they're closer to the middle now. Let's change these colors. Display, color. We're going to do this dilation once more. With the interiors, we already have selected. So go up to transform, dilate. Let's keep the same scale. 
and change our color again. Display, color, we haven't used purple yet. Now we're going to select the other three original interiors that we haven't used yet. I didn't use my green. So I'm going to select all my green and go up to transform, dilate. We'll use the same scale again, changing our color. Let's dilate once more. Changing the color again. Now you should have 18 interiors and six different colors. Select one of your vertex points from your original pentagon and one of your line segments. Going to edit, merge point to segment. Now we're going to repeat this process with a different point and the other line segment. Going to your compass tool, we're going to make three random circles of any size you'd like. Just make sure you're clicking in blank space because we don't want to attach them to any of our interiors. Back to our selection tool. Now let's pick the rest of the vertex points one at a time and merge them to each of the circles. Make sure you deselect what you already have highlighted. We'll merge another point to a different circle. Deselect again. And there should be one more vertex left and one more circle. Merge point to circle. Now select any of your interiors to animate. Display animate objects and now you have a kaleidoscope with your motion controller you can change the speed to whatever preference you'd like I'm going to stop it for now. Let's go to the point tool, edit, select all points, display, and hide points. Your compass tool, edit, select all circles, display, hide circles. Lastly, your segment tool, edit, select all segments, Display and hide your segments. Now you can go up to Edit, Action Buttons, Animation. You can change whether it goes counterclockwise, clockwise, bi directional, or random. I'm going to leave mine as is, but I'm going to change my speed to fast. You can choose however you'd like and click OK. Now you have a button that stops and starts your kaleidoscope. 